Reports of possible chemical weapons attacks are deeply disturbing and um, if verified, and they need to be verified and checked, um, it's a significant escalation amounting to yet more war crimes. And it's very important that Putin is, felt, is held to account uh, for these attacks. We need to wait and see what's verified, um, but they're deeply, deeply disturbing reports that are coming out. You've been meeting young people today, so you're playing football, showing off your skills somewhat? Uh, fantastic to meet the young people here, and, and all credit to the community leaders and those that have set up all the activities that are going on here um, for those young people. It breaks my heart that it has to be done in this way because both the SNP and the Tories have totally failed so many families who are really struggling to make ends meet. But absolute you know, credit to all those that are organising this, supporting this. And we've heard from parents as to just how much they rely on this during the holidays. What is the Labour Party doing to attract young voters? With young voters, we are um, putting together packages for those that are trying to find their way into work. We've got strong views about what should happen in school. But the most important thing we're doing about young voters is listening to them. Um, too many politicians will come along and talk to you about what they think should happen for young people. My preference is to come to places like this, to be with young people, and allow them their own voice about what they want for their futures. And that's what we're doing in the Labour Party, listening to young people, working with young people. And in that way, we can actually put in place uh, measures and proposals that will help them not just for the skills they need um, in life, the skills they need for work, but also recreational activities like this. And what sort of other policies have you got on board to attract voters? We've got um, very strong proposals on the key issue at the moment, which is the cost of living crisis. So um, as I go around Scotland, go around anywhere in the UK, the thing that's coming up over and over again is people saying, I can't afford to pay my bills. What are you going to do about it? So the Labour Party says we're going to have a windfall tax on oil and gas companies in the North Sea. Profits they didn't expect to make because of the high global prices use that to reduce energy bills by up to £600 for those that need it most. So from the Labour Party, what you've got is identifying the real issue of the day, a practical proposal to deal with it, huge contrast to the SNP, um, who can't seem to find a way to back a windfall tax for some reason that eludes me, I have to say, um, and a Tory government that is going to have a loan in October that you have to pay back. So this is very much one of those issues where, um, you know, it depends which side you're on, and we're on your side of working people who are struggling with their bills. And you